Hello, 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 hello. Uh, Ray Reese, Reese's Masterpieces here at CKO Kickboxing South Philly. Um, if, you, if you can't already tell from my demeanor, I am bleeping exhausted. Um, you'll notice normally when I'm doing these, I'm probably sitting on one of these, these bags, right? Ain't, ain't no bags being sat on today because what goes down must go up. And I've been putting up and down a bunch of, uh, oh, a bunch of bags and it's just, it's, it's nope, nope. <laughs> um, but what I wanted to talk about today um, is, is pretty simple. I talked about in a previous video, you get good at what you practice, all right? And that practice doesn't make perfect. Perfect practice makes perfect. I know that sounds daunting, you know, perfection, perfection, and it's not, it's, you want to strive to be the best that you can. And you're gonna, you're going to get out what you put in. And so I can't stress enough that under no circumstances should you sacrifice technique. Even if you don't have the mental stamina, the cardiorespiratory stamina, the muscular stamina to, to keep going or to, to go all out or whatever. Do not sacrifice technique because you will never ever uh, get good. But most importantly, you're not going to get the results that you know, you're putting all of this work in for. It's the difference between, I've said it before, it's the difference between uh, working out and getting in shape. If you're just flailing about and huffing and puffing and throwing your arms and legs every which way and tossing this without any care whatsoever for technique um, and form, you're only going to get results in the gym or you know during those exercises. It's not going to translate uh, to a skill outside. You know, you'll, you'll sweat and you'll burn some calories, great. But that's it. Once you leave the facility, you're leave, what, you're, the results that you got here stay here. Like this is basically, this becomes Vegas. What happens in Vegas stays right here unless you build skills that you can then take with you, unless you build muscle that you can then take with you. Um, so, so for example, let's say we're doing a basic jab, cross, hook combination, right? Jab, cross, hook. Let's say you're exhausted. You just can't, you can't keep up. You can't do it. You're, you've been, you've put all your in and your arms are getting sore. Your, your, your heart is, and your lungs are, all right, so fine. You say, uh, 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 No, no. If anything, Either, either that, where you basically stop and recover and then go again, or slow it down, 
but you don't sacrifice the integrity of that jab. You don't sacrifice the integrity of that cross. You don't sacrifice the integrity of that hook. And granted, I'm sitting down, but you know, if we were standing up, you know, you've still got your, your footwork. Right? We've got right, and you don't want to be because then all that goes away. And we talked about in a previous video how our legs, they're our foundation. These are the things that are going to give you power. They're your foundation. They're going to help to build strength. Everything starts with and is built from the legs, right? Um, but again, you get good at what you practice. If, if your, if your uh, instructor has you doing like a crunch variation, and they say reach for the sky, right? And we wanna focus on just the, the abs, right? And we don't wanna get our hip flexors involved as if we're doing a, a full setup. And you find this is challenging. And so you start doing <sighs> one, that's cheating. Two, it's, uh, oh, I'm not even, it's two, it's bad. Um, because you, people, you run the risk of, people start putting pressure on their neck and their spine and they're swinging, right? You're using, you're using your arms and momentum and it's not like, you might say, this is, oh my God, I can't really, that's, and then that's what you should be practicing. The thing that you're having trouble with is the thing, uh, That's what you should be practicing. Even if like you can only do three perfect ones and you have to stop, great. Next week, maybe you do four. And maybe you can only do four for the next two weeks. And then maybe the, the week after that, hey, you do five. You know, but if you just uh, practice doing that, uh, that's what you're gonna get good at. You'll burn calories but you will never build that core strength and that skill, okay? Um, you know, whatever it might be, if we're, if we're working on doing kicks, you know, we're working on kicks, kicks, and you know, you, you decide that you're just, oh, I'm tired. Uh, uh, punch, uh, one, you know, not only is that going to be ineffective, you're not going to burn as many calories. Um, you run the risk of injury and I can't stress enough technique. Technique is important. Technique is especially important when you're tired. Technique when you're tired is the thing that is going to keep you going. That's going to be able to keep you uh, pushing through without getting injured. So like if you were helping your friend move and oh my goodness, couch is getting tired of the dresser, you start letting that background, right? You start letting that, uh, you run the risk of effing up your, your back. So you've got to hold that, those shoulder blades back, use that core and be safe. You know, and if you can't, you gotta put that dresser down, right? You gotta pause, catch your breath, then go again, right? It, otherwise, bad things are gonna happen. So what, out, whether it's out in the real world or it's in here, technique, 100%, 100%, can't be sacrificed, you know? And if you don't get that, you know, in here, you're, you're not gonna get it out there. So the number one thing we gotta train is this, all right? Um, and I said it before, no brain, no gain. 
okay? Where your mind goes, your body will follow, and you have to be 100% dedicated to technique. And this isn't, this isn't to rag on, on anybody who may be struggling. You know, that's fine, struggle, struggle. It's, it's, the, it's a classroom. This is exactly where you're supposed to struggle, all right? Not trying to be discouraging. I'm not trying to be condescending. I am trying to be encouraging. I'm trying to encourage you to do things in the best manner that will help you yield the best you. And I wouldn't be doing my job if I just sort of, sort of glossed over this and sugarcoated it and just said, oh well, yeah, good job, good job, you're doing great. You know, the fact that you, hey, the fact that you, you made it here, that's all, that's great job. And okay, that's good, that's a great start. Getting out of bed, coming to the gym, great start. But now let's talk about checkpoints and the finish line. You made it to the starting line, but we've got to march forward onward to the finish, all right? So thank you for your time. Um, if you got any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below or you can direct message me. Um, yeah, so yeah, thanks for, thanks for watching. Um, don't forget Friday Night Fight Club is coming up April 5th and onwards but uh until then ray reese reese's masterpieces take care see you